Alright guys, we, uh, today I'll be installing some O2 sensors on the O4 Tibran. This one's broken because I broke it. The back one, it didn't want to plug into the factory harness. I don't know why. But hopefully these will uh, plug in just as fine. I'm going to try this one right now. Uh, these two are for the upstream and these two are for the uh, downstream. One's for left, one for, for right. I'm going to start taking one out. Oh, they it connects good and right all right plug it in uh, plug in just as just fine so we're gonna start installing this um, you can buy a O2 sensor uh, socket or use a 22 millimeter wrench so I just got this so I'm gonna try and see if I can just take it out without any hiccups came out pretty easy so I'll just remove it uh, that's pretty much it so you just grab your new new one then uh, you they supply you this uh, NIC stuff just put on the threads just like so and start putting it in Then you grab your ratchet, just tighten it up. It's kind of like a pain. You gotta take it off and put it back on. Then you put it back. Just good and tight to it. And then connect it to your uh, sensor connector then you hear a clicking sound you get the this one done now we're gonna do the rear I'll see if it is easier not to do uh, let's see you see the old two and uh, then you grab the wire this is the one that didn't fit good I don't know why maybe a different connector style well we'll take a look at it and let me remove it do the left side we had to jack up the car of course you probably have to do it too and then you apply the anesthes then you grab your ratchet your tool or wrench whatever you guys are using go on the car and there's your o2 a bong put in the hole There you grab your wrench. Most annoying part is to go back onto it. Alright, and that's pretty much it. Then you grab your wire. Wire, so you hear it clicking sound, and that's connected. Same thing you have to do in the rear. So go grab the rear, just the rear. Then you apply the anesthes again. And there's your uh, bong. Insert the O2. I got that one on. But if you guys are emissions and you need a cat converter. I tried to use the spacers before, but that did not work with for me. So you gotta go somewhere else to give you a better information. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna connect the O2s. I can lower down the car. All right, the back one goes here to this connector, and she clicks. All right, all new O2 sensors, one step closer to this piece of crap to start. Uh, I'm gonna probably hit 
the person who sold me this shit and hopefully he got it. If not, I'll probably go to the junkyard and buy that shit. Uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, stay tuned. Hopefully, I get this thing uh, up and running soon. I'm probably gonna get that little uh, power, uh, not power thing, um, thermal gasket, blah 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 from eBay. I did like I did on the black Tebron. Probably buy that. And uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day, night, weekend, where you guys are from. Thank you. And drive safe and stay dirty.